Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, Sonny helps out an old friend from his days at Nam, only to find out he's playing both sides and in the episode, Back In The World. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from December 1st to December 7th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 7th, a little-known running back from Auburn University was named the Heisman Trophy winner. The football and baseball star Bo Jackson would win by just 45 votes over quarterback Chuck Long. Normally, I separate sports and news, but Bo Jackson is an 80s and 90s cultural icon. Bo would go on to be drafted by the Kansas City Royals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and be one of the most fascinating sports figures in the generation. In music, the song taking over the top spot on the Hot 100 is Broken Wings from the Los Angeles-based band Mr. Mr. Released on the album Welcome to the Real World, both the song and the album would chart number one in the U.S. This song is a classic, but I can't hear this song without fondly looking back at my days of playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which has the greatest soundtrack of any video game ever. In movies, at the theaters, the movie at the top of the box office is still Rocky IV. Instead of talking about another movie, I'd rather just talk more about Rocky IV this week. Co-starring alongside Sylvester Stallone is the fantastic Dolph Lundgren as Ivan Drago. Born in Sweden, Lundgren is a living legend, having both a master's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Sydney and a third degree Dan Black belt. He is an icon and the best Rocky villain in the entire Rocky series. If he dies, he dies. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.